we are given the piecewise defined function f of x equals mx minus 10 if x is less than negative 5, and f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5 if x is greater than or equal to negative 5. If f of x is a function which is continuous everywhere, meaning we can sketch the function on the coordinate plane without lifting up a pencil, then we must have m equals what value? We know a linear function is always continuous, and so is a quadratic function, so looking at the intervals here on the right, the only possible break in the graph would be at x equals negative 5, which means in order for the function to be continuous everywhere, the two function rules must be equal at x equals negative 5. Or more specifically, mx minus 10 must equal x squared plus 4x minus 5 when x equals negative 5. If the two function rules give the same function value or y value at x equals negative 5, then the function would be continuous everywhere. And now we substitute negative 5 for x and solve for m. Performing the substitution gives us m times negative 5 minus 10 equals the square of negative 5 plus 4 times negative 5 minus 5. Simplifying, m times negative 5 is negative 5m. On the right, the square of negative 5 is positive 25, plus 4 times negative 5 is plus negative 20 or just minus 20, and then minus 5. Still simplifying on the right, 25 minus 20 minus 5 is 0, giving us negative 5m minus 10 is equal to 0. And now to solve for m, we add 10 to both sides and then divide by negative 5. Adding 10 to both sides gives us negative 5m equals 10, dividing both sides by negative 5. Simplifying, we have m equals negative 2. So the slope of the linear function rule must be negative 2, or m must equal negative 2, if the function is continuous everywhere. And we can check this by sketching the two function rules over the given intervals, which I've already done. f of x equals negative 2x minus 10, when x is less than negative 5 is graphed here in red. f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5 is graphed here in blue, if x is greater than or equal to negative 5. And notice how the piecewise defined function is continuous everywhere. I hope you found this helpful.